going everywhere, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Beth with Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a little bit different space because I have this ginormous box that I can barely lift. So I just left it on the floor and I thought, what the hey, we'll just do it here on the floor. So it's a little bit different. My air conditioner is running, that's the noise that you hear, but the natural light is really good. So I'm hoping that helps with the glow. So if this is your first time here, welcome. I'd love for you to become part of my YouTube family and you can do that simply by subscribing to my channel. And make sure that you click that notification bell so that you don't miss a video upload or a live event on my channel because that happens a lot too. So let's get into the haul, y'all. All right, so on this day at Goodwill, I spent $21.37 and I have a confession. This is from March the 22nd. I was trying, y'all. I, I tried really hard to get through them all, but I mean, what's a girl to do? I did more shopping than I did hauling. I don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what I got. It looks like, of course it was a Monday. You know I only go to Goodwill on Mondays, right? It was an orange ticket day, and I, apparently I shopped a lot of Goodwills on this day. So let's see, everything is still wrapped, so I am going to have to unwrap that and make a big mess. This is a cool Christmas mug. And it has a date of 1981 right here. And this says, let me take the sticker off so you can see it in front of it. I think I paid 99 cents for this. Yes, because it was not orange. This says, have a Dillo of a Christmas. And it's got an armadillo, y'all. You know, Texas armadillo. And we have a Texas Christmas tree there with lights around the cactus and another armadillo. But I thought this was really cool. And um, it says Staffordshire Potteries and it is a English company, but I thought that was super cool. And it is signed and dated 1981. So I picked that one up. Uh, this is round, so I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's an egg. So this is a beautiful ceramic glazed Easter egg, and I love the purple color, and I picked that up as well. Let's hope that that does not roll off of the table. The next thing that I picked up was another coffee mug. I don't know why I picked up so many mugs, but this one was a Western motif. Oh, I know why. Look what it says, y'all. I'm sure I bought this to send to someone who may like Mackinac Island a whole, whole lot. So, I picked that up probably for friend mail. Gotta throw some sweet treats in there. Mmm, that'll be good. All right, the next one is, ooh, Mug City. This one was made in Japan and it had a 629 sticker on it but i did not pay that much for it it looks like i paid a dollar 99 for it and it is new mexico and it's got a beautiful little road runner right there and some colors now i'm going to be honest this is probably going to be in a live sale prior to you seeing this video and sometimes that happens and again i'm sorry but I forget what I buy. And so sometimes when I'm doing a themed sale, like vacation spots, I may use it. So if it is, don't be mad at me, okay? All right, let me see. That's three mugs and an egg so far, y'all. And look, another mug. Oh, I know, this is also friend mail. So I guess I better send this out prior to them seeing it. This one is made in Thailand. It says, music makes the world go round. Now, who in our community loves music? Put in the comments below if you know who this is going to. But I thought this was really cool. It's a big mug, but look, it's got a divider on the inside. All right, let me see what else. This is kind of heavy. Well, I see this. It says Avon. 
have no idea why I bought this. None. So we're just gonna put this right here for right now. Great. All right, next thing that I found, ooh, this is heavy too. Oh, Alabama, y'all. Who do we know is in Alabama? Put it in the comments below. It's gonna be so cute with some sweet treats in there. It's a nice mug. It says M, C, and Company. And I love the design of the footed mug. That's super cool. So apparently this was friend mail day. All right, let me see what this is. Oh, I love these. These are great and groovy. Look at these glasses with owls on them. Little woodland creatures, owls, and it looks like squirrels and a raccoon and a fox. And it is signed on the bottom. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Let me see. Do you see that signature right there? There's a signature right there. I have no idea who made those, but those are cool. I hope this is the other one. And it is! Let me see, I can't, I cannot make out the signature, but it's signed on both, if you can see that. Let me see. I don't know how to get it so that you can see the signature, but it's there. These are super cool. Now these will be for sale in a live sale. Some of this is friend mail and some of this is Beth Keep. And then there are some things that are gonna be for sale in a live sale. So if you see something that you're interested in that I do not say is friend mail, then make sure that you email me at the email below and let me know that you're interested and we can talk about what your shipping costs would and be and the cost of the item and we can get that to you. All right, this one is cool. I love you this much. Oh, and it is a is one of the Paula's 1972. This is super cool. Now this I would probably say for a live sale in February, closer to Valentine's Day, but it does have some writing um, on the bottom of it, like who it's to and from. So, all right. Let me see what else is in here. Oh, a brooch. There's a brooch just down in here. Oh, wow. Look at that little brooch. Let me see if I can get it to where. Can you see it? It's just like a wreath brooch with bling. Just got a little C clasp on there. If y'all can see that. I like the shapes of the stones. None of the stones are missing. It's got oval stones and round stones. Let me see if I can open it and I can do it like this. Look at that, isn't that pretty? It's dainty, I like that. Well, I still don't know what this is for. All right, then I got some vintage 1981 trim. It's Christmas trim, bias tape, um, and it is the Santa. This one is like a little Santa Claus, if you can see it. Let me see if I can get it close enough for you. This one is a wreath. Can y'all see that one? And this one is gold bells. So there are three of these. I'll sell those in a lot at Christmas. And let's see. Oh, I picked up another plate. Now this is orange. Was orange? Yes, this was 75% off. And this says, true friends are like diamonds, precious but rare. False friends are like autumn leaves found everywhere. Words of wisdom, words of wisdom. So I picked up this little decorative plate. It just usually hangs, but that would be beautiful for friend mail to send someone else. All right, last item to be unwrapped. I think I know what this is for. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. And I bet it goes on here like this. Now, it was priced separately, but do you think this, do you think that goes together? I think that goes together, but they were priced separately. Hmm but I do think that it goes together. And I guess you put a little tea light under here and it lights up through the holes. That is cool. I do not have one of these, so I'll have to think about letting that go.
Okay, y'all, I have one more item and I picked this up after watching Nesting Haven. And I think that Mid-Century Wasted, Jamie also saw some of these. It was a bag of marbles. Now it was $2.99, but my hope is that we shine this black light and that maybe, just maybe, one of these will glow. I'm a little nervous, but here goes. <gasps> Y'all, wait, does it? I got one that glows. Look, you see it? There's one in there that glows. <gasps> None of the other ones glow. So let me get this bag open. It is totally taped up. And there are a bunch of marbles in here. And I thought that if, even if they did not glow, they would be pretty to put out. I have like a flower frog. Ooh, look at this one. I have a flower frog with like 30 holes in there. But look at this cool marble. Let me see if you can see that in the sunlight. Do you see that little rainbow marble? It almost looks like the world. It does not glow, but oh my gosh. Let me see, I'm gonna take a handful of these out and put them in one of these coffee cups. And we're going to look at some of these really cool marbles. There's a white and orange one. There are all different colored marbles. Now these I just tried, they do not glow. Do you see they don't glow? but they're beautiful. And I'm gonna put them in this box because I wanna get to the one at the bottom that really does glow. Ooh, this one is super cool. It doesn't glow, but it is super cool. Ooh, look at that. It has a design on the inside. And look at all of these with the red. Now these are gonna be beautiful for any, like the yellow and the green for St. Patrick's Day. And I love these like earth design ones. Those are really cool. So none of these glow so far. There's a bunch of marbles in here. More green ones. There's one of the yellow ones that have like the glass bead effect in there. Those are cool. I like the blue ones that look like the ocean. All right, let's see. There's a lot of marbles, y'all. There's even a one of the, oh, oh, marbles, marbles everywhere. Oh my goodness, they're going everywhere, y'all. Here's some more, a lot of yellow. I even got some black marbles in there, which would be cool at Halloween time. I love that green one. Oh, and this blue one right here, this teal, that's a really pretty color. Goodness, goodness, marbles, marbles everywhere. I'll be picking up marbles for days. Oh, look at this blue one. That blue and white one is super cool. Lots of white ones and blue ones. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, I wanna try to get, I thought I saw one green one. Oh, more marbles. <gasps> found it. I found the one that glows. Do you see it right on the end? Can y'all see it glowing? It does glow. Go this way. There you go does glow. So I found one glow marble. Yay me. I'm so excited. Now I just have to pick up all the marbles that rolled all over my tile floor. That'll be fun. <laughs> but that's all I got. I did spend $21 with tax and I got some friend mail and I got some stuff for a live sale and I got some stuff that I'm going to keep. And I even got a brooch and, a, and something uranium. So I think this was a great haul, y'all. So tell me in the comments below what is your favorite item. I don't know. I It is a toss-up between the marble that glows or the Christmas tree, the ceramic Christmas tree, because I never found either one of those. 
So I think those are my favorite. That's it, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. So until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.